YouTube, welcome back to the news world today. I will be making you guys some homemade chocolate. Well, I will be showing you guys how to make homemade chocolate chip cookies. And those are my ingredients. Nine ingredients. I will still be using the directions, which are on Yumly. And yeah, let's get started. I'm washing my hands first. You're always supposed to wash your hands before you start preparing any food for anybody, even if it's yourself. My hands are clean. So, I set my butter out all morning. And now it's 5.35. Now I have my butter. It's softened. It's very squishy. So, I believe I put my butter in both of my sugars. If I'm remembering it right. And so that your cookie mix is not going everywhere, use a tall bowl. Because if you use a short bowl... Your cookie dough will fly everywhere while you're trying to mix it. I'm bring the trash can closer to me. So I'm going to start by dumping my softened butter. This is what your butter should look like. It should look like sticky for you to know it's softened. So put your butter in your bowl. Yeah, I don't like weird textures on my hands, so I'm probably going to be running a lot of water in this video. And I need a half cup of brown sugar and a half cup of white granulated sugar. Bring it closer. Filled up to the pink rim and dump that into my bowl. So I got my butter and my sugar, just my white sugar so far. I'm gonna try to clean up as I'm going so it's not a huge mess. Then I'm gonna pack, 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 pack your brown sugar into your measuring thing and the half cup measuring cup I'm using the spoon to pack it so I'm not trying to go off for of the way my fingers are packing it and you you gonna use you need a big metal spoon to mix. I'll tell you once we get that far. So I pack the brown sugar. I feel like packing the brown sugar is what takes is what is the longest process. Other than once you have to let it get a little colder. Okay, y'all. Now my brown sugar is packed. My brown sugar is packed to the pink rim. Now I'll dump this in there. And now I'm going to mix it, mix the butter and the sugars together first.
you mix until it's like a creamy type texture not completely creamy like I'll show you once I get done mix in the butter and the sugar a lot it's not supposed to why you always lying? be a creamy texture it's supposed to be like crummy like it look like a bunch of crumbs but it's the complete opposite it's like very soft Okay, so after the butter and the sugars, I forgot the first step of all. Heat your oven up to 375. Okay. So now I'm mixing the egg. You need one egg. You need one egg, a teaspoon of vanilla extract you need I gotta go get my baking soda I'm back with my baking soda so I need baking soda vanilla extract and One egg. So in the thing it says to use a tea, a half teaspoon of thick crystal salt, but we only have sea salt and that's super salty. And the last time we tried the salt, it made the cookie salty and it was nasty. So we don't put salt. My half teaspoon of baking soda. And I need a teaspoon of vanilla. Teaspoon. Hmm. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. Yeah, I don't know what I'm about to do with all that baking soda. See how that? Okay. Get my teaspoon of vanilla. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna make it so bad. Just before you mix it. With the egg, bacon, soda, and vanilla. Hold on just a second. Okay. Now I'm going to mix all of those in. supposed to look like after you mix in the eggs vanilla extract and baking soda it's like it's like whipped cream like the texture of whipped cream okay so now Y'all, I need one cup of flour and three tablespoons. One cup and three tablespoons of flour. I'm going to dump my flour into the canister because that's just the easier way for me to do this. Why is it easier for me? Because it's not me trying to pour a bunch of flour into a little tiny cup. Well, a cup that seems tinier than it actually is.
when I can just scoop it. And scoop out my one cup. One cup, and three tablespoons. That was all of my flour I needed. Y'all, that's the oven heating up if you're wondering what that clicking sound is. Now I mix my flour into the mix. That's what it, wait. That's what it looked like before I mixed the flour in. So now I'm done mixing my flour in. This is what it looks like after the flour's mixed in. It looked like a little bit, but once it's sitting in the freezer, it like gets thicker, so it makes more cookies. And while you mixing it, it's going. When you mix it, it's going to like get like crumbly and look like it's not working. And then you just got to keep going. And then it turns out like that. Y'all, these cookies are so good. Y'all just don't understand. The title of it on Yumly is the best homemade cookies ever, I think. But the best homemade cookies and they're the best homemade cookies. And so you have more dough you can scrape. She's quiet. She's very quiet. This one got a lot of mix in it. Okay, now dump in my chocolate chips.
Okay. Now, they're about to go in the freezer. Y'all, I'm struggling. It can't go on top of the salmon. So those go in the freezer for 15 minutes. Yeah, I gotta wash my hands. Stop. And I'll be back when they come out of the freezer. No, first I'm about to line my pan with the nonstick foil. It's supposed to be parchment paper, but we don't have any, so I'm going to be using non-stick foil. And Reynolds non stick boil. I'll be back then. Thirteen minutes. And while we're waiting on them cookies, y'all can make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure y'all subscribe for sure though. Okay guys, so the timer is going off. That means my cookies are ready to be put in balls and baking. I'm going to show you all the first batch and then that will be the end of the video. Set you up on the tripod. I'm going to wash my hands again because I've been doing other stuff since that's been in the freezer. Okay, so you cannot do this with wet hands because the dough will stick to your hand. It will literally stick to your hand and it'll start coming apart in your hand. And it will feel weird. Don't you See, it sticks. Especially if your hands are very warm. They gonna stick while you ball in them. And as you making your separate batches, unless you have multiple cookie sheets and you can put them all in there at once, you can sit it back in the refrigerator so it don't get 
super liquidy. This is why our cookies come out weird shaped because they fall apart in the palm of my hand. This is what happens when your hands are super warm. The cookie dough falls apart in the palm of your hand. I wonder if you can make cookie balls with ice in the palm of your hand. Or will that mess up the cookies? Comment down below. I ain't gonna try it though because I don't want to risk it. You can probably get 12 cookies at a time. Well, that's how many I get sometimes. I don't know if I said this when I put the chocolate chips in, but you need one whole cup of chocolate chips. Cookies in the oven starting to bake. Oven's on 375 and we'll be right back as soon as they get done. Okay y'all, so if you just leave them sitting on the pan, they'll finish cooking like this middle. It's still doughy. The middle on the cookies. But if you just let those sit on the pan, they'll finish baking the rest of what they need to bake. And then you can transfer them right over. I'm about to do that with the ones that are done. And I'm gonna taste test one of them for y'all. Alrighty guys, her cookies are nice and cooled down. She's transferring them to the plate now. As you guys can see, leaving them sitting on your cookie sheet after they're done baking actually continues to um, cook your cookie. So that's why she let them sit on the cookie sheet and it also allows them to cool down a little faster before you transfer them to a plate. But yes, these are Divinity's homemade cookies from scratch. As you guys seen at the beginning, she had all of her ingredients and she literally made them from scratch. Her scratch chocolate chip homemade chocolate chip cookies as you guys can see but this sums up her video thank you guys for tuning in to our channel make sure you guys subscribe and if you're not already subscribed make sure you guys subscribe and hit that little bell and until next time oh also make sure you guys subscribe. We're trying to get our channel to 150 subscribers. So make sure you guys tune in to our videos. Share, share, share. Until next time, peace. I'm about to try the cookie. It's soft. It's actually soft. Mm -hmm. It's not doughy, but it's soft. They're good. You should try to make them.